Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with another Toy Room review. Today we're taking a look at the Fast and the Furious Brian's Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 7. Uh, this is the uh, Too Fast, Too Furious version, and this is the 124th scale die cast. Uh, so we'll just get right into the packaging. It's the same as all the other Fast and the Furious packaging. You got the open window right there that fully displays the vehicle. You can see the title of the vehicle right there with the die cast logo. And then on the side, you can see the rear. And then coming to the back, you can see all the other vehicles from this particular series, which I've already taken a look and reviewed uh, the Skyline, the RX-7, Suki's S2000, the Supra, and the Charger. Uh, yeah, that's everything that's here that I've done, but I've done a lot more, so be sure to check out my playlist. It'll be at the end of the video, so you can just click on it. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging and take a closer detailed look All at right, it. Alright, you guys, and here is the Evo out of the packaging. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. Uh, just right off the bat, you can tell, um, just by the design of this car that this movie definitely did take place. Uh, in the, uh, the early 2000s, you can just, you can tell... Uh, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. Uh, so you got the nice body kit right there, which is the first uh, giveaway of that whole mid-2000s, uh, early 2000s movement. But it does look very nice. You can see the decal right there, which you're going to see a lot of that throughout. Uh, you got these clear headlights with these uh, silver pieces for like the side blinkers right there. And you got the hood vents right here. And I will say this paint is done in a very nice metallic uh, green it's got this glitter effect that I didn't even notice until I got it under these lights right here but that glitter it's kind of like a greenish yellow that's just going all throughout and it kind of changes colors depending the way the light hits it but it looks very very nice then coming to the side here you got these big chrome wheels you can see all the lights reflecting off of that and then you got the decal that starts from the front uh, fender and goes all the way through the side which looks really cool you know, I never noticed this before, but in Fast and the Furious 1, he had a lime green Eclipse, and then in this movie, he had a lime green Evo, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you can see more of the branding decals right there, and then you got the windows open on this door, and we'll take a look inside in a second. These rear doors are fixed. They do not open. Uh, they're just there for show, but this might be the first car that we've got that actually has a back seat, or at least has rear doors, so that's interesting see the gas flap right there sculpted in and then coming to the rear right here more of that branding all throughout but you can see the Mitsubishi logo and the Evolution 7 and the Lancer so all that looks really cool uh, looks very detailed for how small it is and you got again those mid early 2000s uh, tail lights right here that whole clear look I never was a fan of that but you have that and then you have this big chrome uh, muffler exhaust right here and mine does have some uh, chipping Right there on the bottom, you can't really tell, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, uh, with the wheels, you can see the red brake uh, brakes right there, and then you got uh, the discs right there, which are big, fat discs, it's kind of hard to see, there you go. Nice racing uh, brake discs. And then this side is exactly the same, and of course you have this big spoiler right here. Now, this whole car is die cast, but the spoiler is uh, plastic. And I taken it out of the package, I actually thought I broke it because you can take it off. I don't know if it's meant to be taken off, but uh, let's see if I can do it again because I did unclip it. There you go. So it's got these two tabs right here that connect over here. So you can take it off if you wanted to, if you're not a fan of the wing. Uh, but you will have, obviously, these pieces sticking out, which I'm sure you could just snap off and break if you wanted to get the Evo with, without the wing look going on. So you get that option, and it, it just uh, clips right back here. So you clip it at the bottom and then slide it to the top. It slides in place, and it is good to go. So I did thought that I broke it at first, so I was a little scared with that. Uh, but the rest of the car is die cast. The mirrors are the soft, like, rubber gummy material, but all the mirrors are on these cars. Uh, so now we'll take a look at inside the hood. We can uh, pry that open. There we go. So you got the whole engine bay right here, and it's just done in all chrome. Uh, but you can see you got the... The intake and the turbo and everything like that just sucks that it's all chrome with no color detail. I forgot how it looked in the movie, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't all chrome like this. But you do have that right there. And then if we go ahead and open 
these doors up we can take a look on the inside and you can see a chrome steering wheel a chrome boost gauge uh, chrome uh, uh, what is that a uh, turning signal uh, and a chrome shift knob with some chrome uh, pedals right there so a lot of chrome going on in this car the speedometer looks really nice you can you can't really tell what it says or anything but you can see it's just detailed very very nicely and then of course you got these black racing seats and then if we move over to this side you can see some of the details in there and then we can kind of get a look at the back seat it's a little hard but it's just plain black back there so that is it for that and then we'll go ahead and open the trunk and to my surprise there's actually nothing in the trunk it, i don't know if yeah there's not really going to be able to see in there but there's no nos tank or anything going on in the trunk like normal i thought there would have been something some speakers or something in the truck but the trunk is just empty and then that is pretty much it. So let me go ahead and grab some other two Fast Two Furious cars so we can go ahead and compare. All right, and just for a quick comparison, here is the Evo next to the S2000, uh, which didn't appear in any scenes in the movie together, uh, but they are from the same movie, so there's that. And also here is the, uh, the Skyline that again didn't appear in any scenes but it was brian's car in the movie before he got the evo all right you guys so there is my review i really really do love this car i love all the too fast too furious cars i really hope that we do get that purple eclipse uh that tyrese had it was probably my favorite car in the movie uh other than the skyline but i i really do hope we get that somewhere down the line to go along with this uh evo so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends stay tuned for more be sure to check out my instagram i posted a lot of cool pictures and videos on there yesterday the link is in uh the description of this video and also be sure to check out my fast and the furious diecast playlist which should be on the screen for you right there so yep that's pretty much it stay tuned for more and as always I'll see you guys next time